So if you've ever experienced any pain or popping in the area of your ear when talking or chewing something hard, I think you'll find this video to be of great help. Stick around. Well, hello again, folks, and welcome back to another Dentistry Made Simple video. My name is Dr. Kenneth Goods, and I'm a retired dentist from the state of South Carolina here in the US. In today's video, I wanna take some time to discuss an issue involving the jaw joint that plagues as many as 3 million people in the US alone. And that is what most people know as TMJ or TMD. Now folks, I do need to get technical here for just a sec. TMJ actually refers to the temporomandibular joint, TMJ. And if you are experiencing any issues with that joint, then you have TMD, a temporomandibular disorder, okay? So what is the temporomandibular joint? Well, if you stick your fingers gently into your ears and apply a little pressure, then open and close widely, you'll actually feel the joint moving. This joint is connecting the temporal bone of your skull, the area above your ear, to your mandible, which is your lower jaw. Now this joint resembles a ball and socket with a small disc of cartilage in between the two bones that provides cushioning. This unique design is what allows your jaw to move up and down as well as side to side and also enables us to chew our food efficiently as well as talk due to the various muscles of our face and mouth moving the jaw around. It is an amazing little joint. Okay. Hopefully everyone was able to follow all that because I needed to explain exactly what all this stuff is first before we moved on. Okay, so it is back to dentistry made simple from here on. So let's start with what causes TMD. Well, typically it involves a problem with either the joint itself or the muscles that move the jaw around that I just alluded to. Some of these causes could include a blow to the jaw. This can easily mess up the joint and even knock that disc of cartilage out of place. An erosion of the bones of the joint itself. Grinding or clenching your teeth, something I know about very well, which puts a lot of pressure on the joint, and over time, pressure usually equals pain. Any stress in your life can make the muscles of your face and mouth tense and fatigued, leading to discomfort. And some people actually suffer from arthritis in this joint. Now let's move on and go over a few of the signs and symptoms that you might experience with TMD. First is a general feeling that your face is just tired and overworked. Number two is pain in the area of the joint that can radiate to your face, ear, and even down your neck and shoulders. Number three is a clicking or popping noise or even a grating sound when opening or closing your mouth. This is what happens when that piece of cartilage either keeps going in and out of its normal position or gets knocked off completely. Next is trouble chewing or an uncomfortable bite as if your teeth aren't coming together like they used to. Furthermore, you have trouble opening your mouth or even getting your mouth stuck in either the open or closed position. <laughs> Back in the day of my residency, I was on call in the ER and I got notified that I had a dental emergency waiting for me. I went down to the waiting area and before I could even call out the gentleman's name, <laughs> there he was sitting in the corner with his mouth wide open. The ball of his joint actually got out of its socket. So it definitely does happen and you can have headaches or earaches as well as ringing in your ears. And lastly, if your dentist office is not routinely checking for signs and symptoms of TMD, then be sure to let your dentist or hygienist know if you're experiencing any of these issues. They can take special x-rays which will allow them to examine the joint and make any necessary referrals for further treatment. Your dentist may also give you some home remedies that you can do to help relieve some of these TMD symptoms, and these can include the following. Certain over-the-counter medications, such as Aleve and Advil, can be very helpful in reducing muscle pain and inflammation. Sticking to a soft diet can be just the thing to give your jaw and muscles a break. 
Things like eggs, uh, mashed potatoes, or soup, fish, yogurts are good choices. On the other hand, pretzels, carrots, chewy candies, etc., are to be avoided big time. Anything that might cause your mouth to open too much should be avoided. Chewing gum, yawning, and even singing can cause problems. You might want to try relaxation techniques and stress management. Um, applying an ice pack to the side of your face for 10 minutes, followed by moist heat for five minutes a few times a day can be great for helping relax muscles. And trying to keep your teeth apart can help relieve pressure on your jaw. So for example, don't rest with your chin on your hand as it simply compresses the joint area, which is not helpful. Now, unfortunately, some people with more severe cases of TMD may require more help from their dentist. And these treatments often include prescriptions for muscle relaxants, anti-anxiety meds, and even antidepressants to help keep you calm and to relieve stress. Maybe the fabrication of a splint or a night guard is necessary. These devices are designed to help keep your teeth apart and to help prevent clenching and grinding of the teeth. If your bite is off and your teeth aren't coming together properly, then you may be a candidate for dental work. A balanced bite makes for happy muscles and a happy joint. The use of special machines may be required that emit a pulse of low-level electrical current that will trigger the muscles to relax. And the use of ultrasound, which provides a deep heat to help with soreness and joint mobility. And hopefully it never comes to this, but in the most severe cases, surgery may be indicated. As always, talk to your dentist or hygienist and let them know everything you are experiencing. TMD can be a very debilitating problem so please don't ignore it. Having successfully helped hundreds of patients with TMD in my practice, the relief that these patients get is truly life-changing. Help is available. Well, let's wrap up today's video, folks. I hope you learned something that you didn't know before. If you enjoyed this video, would you do me the favor of hitting that like button below as it will help this channel grow? Feel free to leave a comment or question as well please consider subscribing and be sure to hit that bell icon so you can be notified of future videos on dentistry made simple. Bye-bye.